you've got two things that can happen if you do what people are saying you should do. One is nothing because you didn't use enough lye to have any kind of effect. It's watered down so much. And so that also means it's not going to kill worms. It's not going to hurt the animal, but it's not going to kill worms. And on the other end, if it's strong enough to kill the worms, it's also going to hurt the animal. So can you expand on that a little bit more? You had such a wonderful explanation on yeah. that earlier. Yeah. So I put together an article with some of my colleagues and we posted it on the Eastern Alliance for Production Katahdins. Um, so if you want to Google it, you can find the article there. But anyway, we described that the a 1% sodium hydroxide solution may be used to kill most parasites when they're exposed to it for 24 hours. Solution has a pH of over 12, basically kills all the worms by dissolving them in really strong alkaline solution. But the problem is it will also dissolve the sheep or goat's gastrointestinal tract at the same time. And your sheep or goat will probably die from the cure before the worms can kill them. So not a very good idea. So what happens in the animal is when you, you put a basic or a high pH solution, if you feed it to the animal. So let's say that you've properly diluted the lye solution. You probably know that sheep and goats have a rumen and an abomasum, and it has a really good check system to keep the pH in check. So it's got all kinds of buffers and salts in there to help keep the pH quite low. And so even if you put that diluted lye, which you might have seen a video on social media of, of somebody mixing a lye solution with their bare hands, well, that would suggest that it's not burning them. So even if you were to feed that diluted lye, the animal has the ability to keep the pH of the gut at a proper level for digesting feed. And so it would neutralize the lye. 